I'm interested in a class of, of protein which resides on the cell surface and these proteins are one of the largest classes of, of receptors on cells and they're responsible for receiving signals from outside of the cell and then delivering the message to the inside of the cell. And these signals range from molecules which we can taste, that we can smell, and they also include light as well. So it, this system forms a basis of vision. This class of protein all share a very similar architecture. And ultimately what happens is that upon binding to a signal from the outside, these receptors change shape and change in shape is recognised by another molecule inside the cell which can then be activated. My particular interest in this very large family of proteins is actually on proteins found in the retina. I'm interested in rhodopsin, which is the photopigment in the rod cell, and instead of recognising a small molecule, it can actually detect photons. So when we see light, it's because a photon of light has been absorbed by one of these molecules and there's a cascade, a biochemical cascade, which ultimately leads to a nerve signal to the brain saying that we've seen light. There's a disease called retinitis pigmentosa and a large number of, of mutations which cause a specific type are found in rhodopsin. Now most people have heard of, of age-related macular degeneration that usually affects people in their later decades of life. Retinitis pigmentosa is very different. It usually afflicts people much earlier. Typically in their teens or in their twenties is when they might be diagnosed. And at that point it's pretty much known that this person's eyesight will deteriorate over time until ultimately blindness will, will develop and there is no known cure. What we think is happening is that these mutations prevent the protein from adopting its normal structure. And what we believe happens then is that the misfolded proteins clump together and the cell does not know what to do with them, it can't clear them. Our work aims to stabilise or prevent these receptors from misfolding. And if we can do that, we might be able to prolong the lifetime of the rod cells sufficiently to extend vision in these patients by hopefully years or decades or maybe even even longer.